Welcome to another episode of Wrench. On this show, we are going to do some very interesting fab work on the Blasphemy build. So one of the really iconic pieces of this build is the rear scooped deck lid that's meant to feed air to the intercooler. So for all this time, I've been thinking of doing this in fiberglass. And then a buddy suggested I do it in metal. So here's the deck lid. And then here's the buddy. Here's the buddy. Mr. Caleb from What's Built up, guys? Official is in town. And so, dude, I was going to do this in fiberglass because you are yeah. the fiberglass master. Uh, yeah, okay. You like to make things wide. Yeah, in I do glass. enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. But you suggested that we cut this thing and use as much of the original sheet metal as possible, which I thought yeah. was a great idea. Yeah, so the biggest problem when you're fabricating things, if you ever try to fabricate a body panel, especially, or fender flares even, is symmetry. Symmetry is really, mm. really hard. So if we can use kind of the majority of this panel, <laughs> you got it. That was nice. It hit the tripod. <laughs> Sorry, B. If we can use the majority of this panel to kind of create a shape first and then just fill in the gaps, it's going to be symmetry. It's going to be symmetrical and, and I think just way, way easier. Well, and fingers, metal. fingers crossed. And metal. metal so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill out the spot welds on this underside and peel this skin back, probably on both of these sides. Yeah, or actually, sure. it'll be front side and sides. Leave the back one on. So that'll make this top flap the way we want it. Yeah, and we just build the shape. And then build the shape on the front. On the front. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Stay tuned. Yeah, let's see. It's like maybe take the front one off and cut the yeah, sides. Yeah, use this front edge for our. These are the spot welds. Yeah, it looks here. like there's only two. I was thinking yeah, there's the spot welds all the way down. So how does it feel to be a new Porsche enthusiast? Oh, dude. Actually, you're an old enthusiast, new owner. Yeah, I'm the kid in the commercial. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. I'm really excited. Like, I was I was pretty discouraged when I left the, the house, because, like, I thought the car was going to be running before I got here, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Like, a week before. Yeah. And then I spent the whole week driving this car, and now I'm ready to go back and get it running. Yeah. Yeah, now um, you know what to expect. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And it's been, like... The, uh, the, com the community's been really cool. Yeah. It's like you like you buy one and all of a sudden you've got all these friends that... Yeah, you're part of the deal now, man. Yeah. You get it. A guy a guy actually, on my way home, with the car stopped me, tried to, the first guy that tried to buy it. And he goes, uh, he goes, man, you just became a part of a really cool club. Yeah, that's true. I didn't get what he meant, but then since then, I mean, like, you messaging me, and then there's yeah. guys all over Instagram that have been messaging me since having the car and trying to help and... Yeah. Invite me to stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, truly, it's the reason why I started this brand. Because I'm yeah. just like, I really like these people. I like the vibe. Like, yeah. why wouldn't I just do something to be around this vibe? Right, all you the know? time. All the time. Yeah, why sure. not? And then maybe get to be on a pit wall at Monaco. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. You know, whatever. Too. Yeah. <laughs> While we're there. So right now I'm just pulling this lip off. It's been on there for whenever the thing was made. Uh, my guess is probably 1969 is when this deck lid was created and uh very sorry to all the purists out there but this is not your day we gotta build cool stuff yeah <laughs> so caleb right now you have your badass wide body mg yeah and you've got the fatson the fatson yep. right yep um and then you've got your new 911 yep that you're super stoked about right that you're trying to get the engine going it's been a little challenging yeah. But not to say the least. Completely discouraging. Like not you yet. you know. It hadn't slung a rod at yet, so it hasn't slung a rod yet. So doing better than you on your first one. Yeah, that's true. Um so tell me though about your first like other than the you know, because I I do feel like the journey is part of the fun with these. Sure, yeah. There's a uh, there's a certain trauma bond, you know. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Getting one I running agree. and then enjoying it. Yeah. If you guys haven't uh, already subscribed to his channel, uh, it's called 
built official. He does bonkers wide body conversions to things. I loved your Audi. I loved oh, the thanks. Audi. It was A4, yeah. right? Yeah. A4 wagon that he made just rallied out wide body. And um, much like we do around these parts, dude just sends it. He just goes, yeah, all right, let's rah, and just cut stuff off and makes it out of fiberglass. It's very cool. I always fix it later. Yeah. And then do you, uh, do you ever sell those uh, when you're done? Or like, do you still have all those things you've built? Or no, have you sold them all? I've sold, so I gave the Audi away actually to a you subscriber. Did. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually in Arizona. Wow, that's cool. Shout out to Andrew. Uh, up, so, uh, so yeah, I gave that one away. The MR2, which was like the first build of the channel, I ended up selling to fund my MG build. Okay. So the MG, it's funny, I, I built it kind of inspired by Porsches. And, uh, yeah, right. And then I, and I didn't obviously have a Porsche at the time, nor was I expecting to get one. Right. And so in the middle of building this kind of Porsche-inspired car, I bought a Porsche. Right. Because so you did cool. this, yeah, you had the huge like GT2 tail. Yeah, yeah. It's and then the yeah, wide body, same flares. Well, same flares I have on my gray car. Yeah. Are, yeah. are uh, big RSR. Yeah. Then wide I, body I took flares. A, I took a GT2 uh, wing and made, custom molded it to the to the MG. And yeah, it's super cool. It's pretty, like pretty wild. Just fun fabrication stuff that that I think car guys like, and then all the purists get mad at. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of purists fans. Yeah, but you don't either. <laughs> you know? Know? Yeah. So. yeah. Welcome to the Subaru build. Right. All right. So right. we got this thing off. Let me. Um, maybe I'll do a real quick Grind hammer or dolly something. or something okay. and yeah, just get sure. that thing clear. Looks like it's all that. Yeah. So uh, cut it. Well, maybe I don't need to. Because this side separated. Depends on where I cut. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Because this is, but I don't think this top part is. All right, so I was thinking of just like taping this thing. Yeah, yeah. We just got to pick where we want to cut and how wide you want your roll, roll to be, you know? Are you thinking it's going to be kind of like this shape? Or is it going to be like this shape? I think, uh, I see what you're saying. Like, will it come in that way? Yeah, does it, does it taper? Or... I, hey, it's whatever you want, man. Whatever you want to do. I thought that the render kind of did like uh did yeah. like this uh yeah kind of like this shape, but yeah. but I think but then I looked at it again and I don't know I just don't so the render's just that I mean it's yeah just, it's just it's a render just a mock -up, right so right I think I have I think I have a plan though so if 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 the taper is done right here then you don't have to worry about this line if we come straight down here and we have a rolled edge you're gonna have like a complex like compound curve right here. Does that make sense? Like, uh, it'll be like this. And making that shape is gonna be hard. Oh, this corner shape. Right, right. if it's lifted there. Mm-hmm. It's like a thick cardboard, I got a Walmart. Thick. I'm very highbrow. Yeah. <laughs> All the highbrow. Yeah, I mean. I mean, really, it, it could legit be a line yeah, yeah. You just lift the center up and then go. Yeah, and this and this could just be like just molded. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Part, you know, because it'd be easier idea. to make this sheet metal. Right. Then, because this is hollow, this is easy to cut out. Yeah. Yeah, man. Dude, so I'm maybe that's the deal, huh? I wonder if we lift it. If we could even just cut this and lift it up and. Right. Yeah. And then you just have to and, and, and make a. You maybe cut this around there and just make a little gusset if it needed it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good, I think it's a, a pretty solid plan. Yeah, Your so. intercooler is going to be up on top of the motor? Yeah. Top mount. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Do you have one yet? Mm-hmm. So do you know how high it's got to be? Or clearance isn't going to be an issue? <laughs> <laughs> clearance may be an issue? <laughs> we can fit it. We can, we can go down that road later. Tape? Yeah, tape. My ball. I do have an eyeball, and that's about an inch, but let's see how close I get with my designer eye. Pretty close. So we're at uh, 70, exactly 75 mil. Ooh. I mean, to the millimeter. Dude, let's go. All right, come on. that's come on. 
pretty impressive. Let's see on top though. I might have gone the top. It's a little further away. One forty-five. What is it? Is it? <laughs> shape is already great. It's, it's gonna work. These are, this is a Diablo, it's like the good Harbor Freight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, cheap. Cheap. Chef. I have some that are cheap, but they're electric, they're not air. small one but that thing is <laughs> tiny Sad I did this because I'm gonna have to re-weld it. I don't need to do this at all because it's gonna cut in anyway. So Caleb was nice enough to unrust this piece of round bar and yeah, ish. And we're gonna use it as a, uh, a form first. So we're gonna basically make the form of the opening and then form the sheet metal to that round bar, yeah. at least on the, the top part. And then we're gonna worry about what we do with the sides. Yeah, we'll just keep pushing that. It's like welding, it's like welding sheet metal. Yeah, exactly. Take care of one problem and <laughs> you solve for, solve for X, then Y. Yeah. I'm not trying to get too positive when you hear, but it's looking pretty good. <laughs> 
All right. Looking pretty good. All right, so now let's go back to where I was, which With is, the rod. let's get the rod in there. Mm -hmm. Just rot they. Just rot they. And then. We can just make our shape. Maybe give it a. Give it a bend, give it a rotate. Yeah. Weld her up. I'm going to want to go here-ish, probably. Because it's going to go edge and then, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to sweep down and curve. Yeah, well, what, then I think what you can do is just bend it over a radius and get it rotate right. it. Yeah, get it right and then rotate it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good Okay, so, sar. I mean, that looks... Tits right <laughs> it does there. look cool, man. It's, it's right going to look so rad. Yeah. So I think you got two options here. Mm -hmm. If you run it all the way to the corner, you don't have this curve in here to body work. You know what I'm saying? If, it's, if it comes down to here, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a body line that goes into this and then smooths out. If you run it out to the corner, then it'll just it'll it'll terminate over here somewhere. Yeah, I can weld I can thing. weld to the edge. Right. Yeah. So it's versus just it going style. down and doing that. Yeah, and the only thing I I think this would be a cool body line to have these like. I do too. I think it looks sick. Yeah, yeah. So it's, so it's, it's just a little more time. So it's like organic spend. coming in diagonally a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Okay. We'll okay. see you in a bit, man. Yeah, I'll be back. Bend it. That's what he calls having sex. He calls it feeding the kid. <laughs> <laughs> but he's good enough at what he does. Really that great at what he does. Oh, dude, that looks great. Look at that. All right, so here's the deal. Basically making this framework for this section out of this tubing and then it falls off. Ah, sorry, dude. <laughs> what was that? Bad Sharpie? <laughs> Hang on. I have a habit of putting it in my pocket. This is some nice content you guys are contributing to the channel right now. <laughs> uh, we want to hear about boils. <laughs> that's, that's real old man talk right here. Everything is in my way right now. Stuff to boost this a little bit. So anyway, what he does is he blocks the light with the gun. Oh yeah, so you don't blind yourself. And you don't need the, it's a really smart idea. So you just yeah. basically, you're just, you're just tacking like, oh, yeah. like that. That's awesome. I'm like, what a great idea that is. Yeah, that is simple. Such, that's such an easy win. Yo, what's up? What's happening? What's up, How's man? it going, Adam? Hey, how you doing? Good. What do you guys got going on? Well, we're making the uh, the cool intake scoop out of the deck lid. I saw a off-road, is it called a GTV6 maybe? Yeah, another off-road. Did you guys do that? Yeah, of course you did. Yeah, they do really cool stuff. It's 
pretty nails now. It's yeah, really, it really freaking close. You gotta get down like this to see it. Cause yeah. The deck would be in a little bit. Yeah, it's a little wonky. It looks like it's going to do it for us. It looks like it's going to do it. Just a little bit wider on that and run it out the edge. I there think we'll be, we'll be there, dude. That's sick, isn't it? It's, it's super sick. Yeah. Like, it is yeah. truly one of the visions of this car that yeah. I was like, I can't wait to see if I can pull this off. Yeah, I think. Okay, you want to, I'll let me hold this down. You want to take it again? Yeah. Where are we going on the bottom? Yeah. I always need that. <laughs> All the cars. Oh, you know those guys? Wow, that stuff. That, that car in Italy. is insanity. So in Italy. Oh, that car is just in insane, Italy. dude. Really? I mean, that, literally, that car is... The interior of that thing is... I, I stole so many ideas. Those seats are like, oh my god! Did you make the seats? Did you do the seats? No, no. That would be nice of you to do. Got you, bro. That would be very kind, yeah, we filmed the whole trip. Mr. F Mr. Fancy Channel. Have you been out to Yosemite? That's something I'm not jealous of. There's a lot of traffic here. Yeah. Nick, if you go to the garage yeah. on the these cabinets here, there's renderings of the car, and you can oh, yeah, see yeah. that. Well, I've seen them. The, it's you can the Mercedes see the, guy, right? You can see the scoop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best How many Sharpie sharpies ever. have we killed like today? Yeah. All right. That's it. One little trimmerino. Cut it off. And then, and then this we can is trim that with like that, and then and basically I can just we use can my little nippers and we can sit it on inside. there and then it can hang out tonight. So as you guys have seen, we've been working on this thing for a few hours. It's getting really close mm -hmm. to being very cool and uh, all we have to do is I'm going to trim this thing so we can roll the, the leading edge over. And then we said we were going to be done, but the chances of me not cutting a couple pieces of sheet metal and just giving them a quick tack and getting this thing on the car, I would say are very slim. So. <laughs> Tell me that this thing has not been the MVP today. Oh, absolutely. Like, absolutely. what a tool. I think before we tack these on, we're yeah. going to want to make sure this is straight. And it's, and, and it's and correctly it's bubbled up yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think that's stuff. Yeah, but that looks pretty good, man. That was dope. A little less of a scoop than I thought, but it's actually going to end up better. It's going to be a little more subtle. Yeah, and um, it's going to make this job a lot easier, I think. Yeah. So what we'll do now is um, get it on the car, and then I want to make sure the bow like has a nice arc. Yeah. To sure. it, you know. You don't have a flat spot. In the yeah, it's not some weird. And I think I can actually take that flat bar, like I said, and. Yeah. Get it to make a shape. To make a shape so it actually shapes both pieces really well. Dude, this is yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you wanna place let's place this one again. <laughs> How cool is this, man? It's pretty cool. I'm amazed. I mean really. We got we got a lot, uh, a lot more of a shape than I was expecting to get in an afternoon. Will you put one here for me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me give you one. I'm gonna take this side down. Tighten up. Tighten up. <laughs> What's up? Give this a, give this a tape, will you? Yeah. Just wrap it around like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that way, it's start it on the white side and wrap it to the other side. Yeah.
That is absolutely bitching. Very much like the coolest piece of fabrication I've done on this car so far, I think. This is just... And it just looks dope. And you know what You know what the best part about this is? Hmm. It fits. Like, like it fits, you know? Yo, yeah, yeah. That's with, great. We don't have to worry about like trying to make it look like it fits. It's just, it's... Yeah. The structure of it is 911. It's it is... Correct. Correct car, yeah. Yeah. All right, I need to look I at this thing. I need a little bit of that too. I'm gonna wrap this. Wrap this down. Right? Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. There you go, man. Look at that. Dude. It's, <laughs> sit back a little bit. It's so ridiculous to look at. It's so sick. It is so... Sick. That, that looks really good. It looks really, really. I mean, I knew, really, I knew it would be awesome and work really exactly like we wanted it to work. Good. Yeah, there was no question ever. No doubt. That's, that's no good, doubt. Man. That's a good shape. It's a good shape. Yeah. There's like uh, some sweet ass screen right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So an afternoon, and this is what we've got. It's so rad. I don't know what to say other than it's exactly what I wanted. Um, we'll be making these out of metal, obviously. Um, I'm gonna be putting something structural on the inside so it has a nice bow to it, but it's got this killer little intake for the intercooler now, which is not too crazily out of place, but it's kind of awesome. So dude, that was quite an afternoon. It was. Uh, when I sent you that initial idea of like, hey, I want to do this, what did you think? I mean, about it? the design, I thought the design is awesome, it's simple, yeah. and it looks like a Porsche design. Uh, I did not know if we were going to be able to do it in an afternoon, you know, and it's a, yeah. lot of, a lot of building something out of nothing for an afternoon, but I think it works, man. Super MVP, Caleb, with the idea of um, using the existing skin instead of, like, I thought I was going to have to form, like, Compound curve that way, yeah. compound curve that yeah, way, for and, sure. and literally just cutting the initial skin, peeling it up, adding an extension, and then doing the round bar. So if you guys are YouTubers, and you are because you're here, follow Odd Job Fix if you love woodworking stuff. Milt does amazing stuff, and he drops some round bar. Yeah, which for was, free. Which was like the thing that made this thing go fast, yeah, was, right? That was the whole thing. That was the whole The little... crux of this build was getting that round bar and making that shape. Everything is built off of that. The sheet metal shape, the sides, everything only works if the round bar is there. So having that was just huge for getting this thing done in an afternoon. And getting it symmetrical. It was know, a challenge. We had, I mean, you guys saw, it was, it was hours yeah. of just millimeters and measuring and stuff, but it looks so good on the car and it's, it couldn't be rougher yeah, right now. Right. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. have sheet metal on it. It doesn't have its We're like only full going up shape. From here. Yeah. It's only getting better and it yeah. still looks badass right now. So dude, I can't thank you enough. Absolutely, thank you and man. your dad for coming out and shooting. Yeah, It's cool sure. to have a second shooter, a second set of hands, three sets of hands in the shop. Um, we've been talking about maybe doing something in the future, so yeah. it'd be cool to put something together. Absolutely. Um, clearly, if you're not already subscribed to Built, he's doing He's never met anything he doesn't like to wide body. That's fair. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's all rad. That's true. That's true. And his, like, all the individual videos, you know, we, we talk about, like, sending it on this channel. He totally sends it on his channel. So make sure you go there. And I know I'm just a small fish and you've got the big pond. But still, go there and follow him. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. High five in the comments. Tell me what you think of this. You might hate it. You may be like, why do you want to cool your inner cooler? I mean, it says cool right in the Yeah, you have word. to. You have to. But um, it's on there for now. I'm digging on it. I think it's a super cool fabrication project. And again, I can't thank Caleb enough. So Yeah, if you're watching this and you go to my channel, go to the most recent video and high five me as well so I can know that you came from Wrench. Yes, do that. Absolutely do that. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Go drive cool cars. We'll talk to you next time.